I ask you, Senator, part of the new fascination, I think is the right word, with space is driven by a, a new interest, curiosity, um, uh, seriousness about the possibility that we're being visited by uh, in intelligence from outside our solar system. Uh, the Director of National Intelligence just issued a report uh, on uh, unidentified aerial phenomena, what we often call UFOs. Uh, there's going to be more study coming. How do you look at that question of, of, of life beyond Earth? What, what is NASA itself doing to think about this question? Uh, give us some ways to think about this. Well, NASA is looking for life. Uh, for example, uh, when we are getting a return sample from Mars, uh, we're going to examine that sample to see if there are any of the chemical elements that would indicate there are microbes there. Uh, the mission that we just announced uh, going to Venus, Venus is shrouded by an atmosphere that causes it to be so hot on the surface that it would melt lead. But what about in that atmosphere? Uh, there are moons of other planets that we think there are oceans. If there are oceans, there is very likely to be life. So we are looking at that very, very aggressively. And then at the end of this year, we're gonna put up the new space telescope. And unlike Hubble, which has had this incredible three decade run far beyond its design life and looks at the expanse of the universe. This telescope, a million miles from Earth on the other side of the Earth in the sun, with a blanket behind it to shield out any sunlight, looking out through a keyhole in the sky. Believe me, this is true. Looking back, 13.35 billion years to the source of light, which is shortly after the Big Bang and the formation of the first galaxies. And it's going to be able, as we examine those early galaxies and then examine the solar systems that formed in those galaxies, and then in our search for other planets, which are already undergoing, but this telescope's going to help us find those planets and see if we see a planet with an atmosphere that is similar to Earth. I personally think that the universe is so big, which I cannot even conceive in my mind, that yes, there are other possibilities of other Earth-like planets that have intelligent life. That's exciting just to hear you describe the, the process that's ahead. I have to ask you the question, what, what would NASA do? What would you do as, as, as our space leaders, as head of NASA, if we did one day uh, get evidence that showed that there is uh, intelligent life beyond our planet? How would NASA respond to that? Well, the first thing is, I bet it would be a page one story on the Washington Post. <laughs> I think that's, uh, we can, we can so, agree on that. So what would I do? Uh, if we get any kind of uh, message of intelligent life, then I'm going to suggest our scientists uh, try to make contact with it. And uh, I don't know when this is coming. Uh, you know, a lot of people are excited about what these Navy uh, jet pilots have, have seen. Uh, back in my old days as senator, uh, I met with those in a classified session. I've talked to those pilots. They know they saw something. They followed it. They locked their radar on it. And now this unclassified portion of this uh, report that you mentioned uh, now has uh, over 140 sightings all over the globe. So there's something to this. What is it? I don't know. 
Uh, I don't think anybody knows at this point. I hope it's not one of our enemies because that thing, the pilot said it was there and then suddenly it's there in an instant. I hope it's not one of our enemies because if it is, they've got some real serious advances on us on technology.